Benny, it's time for Resident Evil Revelations. Oh man, wait, this doesn't look right. Why? What's wait, we do, we rode the feature What's... thing, and now that we're on camera. Uh oh. What's going on? Why? Why? Why such <laughs> special and elaborate setup for this Brad Shoemaker? <laughs> we'll get to the direct feed in a second, but uh, this is the first game on the 3DS to come out in North America that supports the Circle Pad Pro, uh, which what? is this. Uh, I mean, hulking black monstrosity that we've got bolted onto right. the 3DS. We'll, we'll here. get to the profile shot in a little bit uh, because yeah. uh, this doesn't do it quite justice yet. Yeah, yeah, you don't get the full the full bulk of this thing right now. Uh, but, so, uh, so you basically have two analog sticks. Yeah, now. The, yeah. The point of this thing is to add a second analog stick. Uh, I'll, I'll tilt it around in a second and show you. There's also two like trigger style shoulder buttons mm. on here, uh, underneath the actual shoulder buttons. Uh, and what that get, what that does for this game is is make it you know a modern third person shooter. I can move and control the camera at the same time. Radical, I know. And by this game, you Stop mean me uh, this Resident before. Evil uh, Re Revelations. Revelations. Yeah. Um, and this comes with the game? If you no, buy okay. no, 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 no. This is a, this is a separate add-on. It's not out here yet, neither is this game. So they don't sell it as a bundle yet? Oh, God. Uh, I don't know that they're going to sell it as a bundle. Okay. Um, this is my assumption. They are out on the same day. Uh, I can tell you that. Uh, they're both out on February 7th. Huh. Uh, but I don't know that there will be any kind of like cross promotion or, or packaging. Hello, sir. And th this thing is twenty dollars. Oh, is that gonna work? Yeah, that'll work. It's a Circle Pad oh, Pro. Hold still. One shot. Nice. Uh, yeah, That's yeah. That's what you so can the, do with uh, the Circle Pad Pro. <laughs> that kind of amazing accuracy. Yeah. Uh, this is not the story mode. I should. Uh, I guess it's worth pointing out. This is. Uh, this is the raid mode, so, I believe it's called. So this, this is just a, this is just kind of a challenge mode where you go these go through these levels. Let me cut to the quick here. Okay. Uh, what do you think of it? It's a little big. Yeah. Uh, does it, does by, it, that, by that I mean it's really big. Uh, you, it, it just it increases the bulk and increases the size and the weight of the 3DS so much uh, that I'm not totally convinced that it's worth the. Oh God. I guess that's the worth question. The extra uh, the fidelity control. and control. I mean, is th it? this game does play quite a bit better. Man, this gun is great. I haven't had this thing before. Go for a headshot. On this uh, Hold still. Does, does it feel uh, identical to the Circle Pad on there the we go. on the D 3DS itself? Oh, still not dead. Yeah, yeah. The uh, you're talking about just the action of moving yeah. the. Yeah, they, they feel identical. Uh, oh God, he's still not dead. Uh, and how the button, the uh, shoulder buttons, they feel nice and uh, uh, responsive. Yeah, they feel clicky. You know, there's a there's pretty short throw on them, uh, so they feel a lot like the uh, the default 3DS ones. So, you, but even still, you don't think it's worth the uh, the extra weight I, and carrying this thing around. It's, it's Less a, portable. It's a tough judgment call because yeah, this thing, like I said, it increases the size of the system so much that it, yeah. it hardly becomes portable anymore. It absolutely will not go in your pocket unless you're MC Hammer. <laughs> uh, after after you bolt this thing on, it's easy to pull off. You know, you can. Yeah. Oh God. And it actually uses the infrared sensor on the back. Yeah, that's of the, the crazy 3DS. part. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, Hang on, let me show this guy my Magnum first. Oh God, still not, still not gonna make you like completely perfectly accurate with this thing on. All right, it doesn't seem like it's got a lot of throw to it. So is it is it sensitive on like the dead zone and uh, everything? Like yeah, it is. You know, it's it's yeah. got a, it's definitely got a big dead spot. You can see. Right. You have to move it quite a bit before. And you does get it in. accelerate as it gets towards the? Uh, yeah, the definitely. Edges? And you can you can uh, tweak the sensitivity in this mm -hmm. game. Um, well, let's. Uh, I mean, there's not really much to show. You've had you, enough. Yeah, let's uh, let's actually show <laughs> yeah, the, the hardware right. of you're it. You're right. It is it is very basic functionality that you know you're totally used to on a console that they're adding here. I mean, but it's something that I think is is great for these. If you're going to put these kinds of games on a 3DS or, or a portable platform, dual analogs are. I yeah, don't know. you're right about that. But uh, uh, standard disclaimer: I haven't finished this game. Review forthcoming. Yeah, uh, this, this could change, but I'm not convinced that you should be making that kind of game. Well, that's right. So game, like, notwithstanding quality of game, the, the if you're going to try and do a dual analog, yeah, you you need dual analog <laughs> right? uh, to make a dual analog game. You're right. definitely right about that. But I mean, at the same time, Nintendo was managing pretty well with one analog. You know, they're making they've made some great games yeah. on the system already with right. one. Yeah, I, I don't mean to so, I don't mean to compromise the quality of the system at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm yeah. just saying the type of game. So let's show off uh, a little yeah, bit I'll, of like what this thing actually looks like. Uh, yeah. So. Oh, there it is. That's yeah, the money shot. There you go. You have now doubled the size and of your... And probably the weight. I guess yeah. I can pull this thing out. Um, I, wish I, I wish I had a quarter for scale <laughs> here. Hold, hold up a... You got a pair? Yeah, like uh, that is... Like uh, the fruit comparison. Um, yeah, it has gotten large. It's uh, significantly bigger, significantly heavier. Yeah. Um, uh, it doesn't snap in. It's uh, it's got these little rubber feet in here that just kind of it makes it grip when you when you yeah. set it down in there. But but the, there's a there's an infrared on the back yeah. of the 3ds. The craziest part to me uh, as a as a nerdy gadget loving type person uh, is that it communicates through infrared. So there's yeah. the the IRR. Sorry, 
There you go. Yeah. There's the IR on the on the 3DS, and then there's a just a little sensor. If you can see it. There's IR right there, and they yeah they literally come up against each other. So there's no it doesn't mount in like uh, a snapping or no, it uh, just kind of just kind of yeah, yeah. shove it in there. It's <laughs> right. Sort there's of, no handshaking. It kind of mushily fits in there. I guess this thing will go to sleep, but just just hitting it will wake it back up. And it gets um, is, is there power or anything? Yeah. The it takes inside? one AAA. Okay, uh, is that where that screw cover was? Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's the battery compartment. It okay. takes one AAA and is said to run for 480 hours well, that on that one, one AAA. Than so you'll you probably never never replace yes. the thing. Yeah, I mean, there's not um, much going on. No, no. It's, it's just not like sending, rumbles or anything it's just, like it's, that, It's right? basically like a TV remote. It's just sending an infrared signal. You know, for this size, um, they should have put rumble in that thing. <laughs> maybe so. Uh, it, is, uh, it is monstrous. It is pretty big. Uh, like, like, you might want to throw it in a bag and take it with you, but like I said, there's absolutely no way you're going to cram this into your pocket. Yeah, it is, um, it is really interesting. Uh, and that, I, You know, it, it, this is an elegant system. It's very compact. You yeah. know, it's, it's, they cram a lot into the small it's space. It's no SP, but, you know, it's close, you gotta do what you, know? you got to do. Uh, and just the addition of all this extra bulk for, for that one little bit of functionality, I just, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, let's, uh, let's jump into Resident Evil Revelations. All right, let's actually take a look at the game now. Check that thing out proper. Okay, let's just roll the freaking, Whoosh. let's roll the bumper again. <laughs> all right. Bumper. All right, Benny, now that we got that nasty bit of business out of the way. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> uh, so now you're so, back just on the good old 3DS. Yep. We'll hop in here. Resident Re Oh. Resident Evil. Evil. Nothing? No, you got no voiceover? Oh, give, it, give it time. Okay. I, I will give it some time. Street pass. Oh. Evil Revelation. All right. There you go. Now that that's out of the way, Brad, what is this game? Oh, no circle pad found. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't, I haven't played it on this 3DS capture kit yet, so it, it has to go through all these checks. Uh, this is a full-on uh, new original Resident Evil game. Well, who's in it? What um, are we learning? Zombies, you parasites. Just, you want me to hop right into the story? Let's go. Tell me all, all about right. it. I'll go into the campaign. I need to know if I need to play this game before the next Resident Evil. Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think so. Well, no, I mean, just story-wise. Yeah. Don't, let's not, you know, get too far where, like, ahead Where, where is this here. taking place? Uh, this is set between 4 and 5. Okay. This is kind of a prequel to 5, so... Is this Jill? In terms of this setting up Resident Evil 6, I don't know that, that it's going to tie in too much. Am I going to learn more Although about... who knows? Who knows? Maybe they will a little bit. Uh, this is Jill, this is Chris, and this is some new characters. Okay. Uh, so, we'll jump in here. Does this tell you where all the rotten eggs came from? Resident Evil Revelation. Oh, come on! <laughs> what? <laughs> what, you're not into this? Uh, uh, it's broken up into a, a really rigid, episodic format. Uh, I won't get too deep into this because I don't want to give away too much of what's happened already. Uh, but every time you jump into a new chapter, they do give you this refresher, which I guess is kind of nice. Whatever. Not, but not, you gotta rip off uh, spoil that stuff. Deadly Premonition. Be my <laughs> guess. You wanna rip off one of the best games ever made. Everybody's taking a lesson. Yeah. Uh, jump right in. So, so what's what's what have I missed? What has previously happened it's, on here? Jill is out hunting Wesker? It's weird. There's this new terrorist, there's this new bioterrorist group called Veltro. Uh, that guy's Parker. Yeah. That guy's bad hair. I believe that's Raymond. Yeah. Uh, it looks like you missed a few. I'll skip this too. You know, like I'm like 4 hours into the game here. I don't want to give too much away, but uh That's Jill? Yeah, that's Jill. Hmm. Sheep's running on emergency power. But the needs the main Not really. Uh, we need to bring the engine room back online. This is uh it won't be easy. Doesn't it doesn't quite look like the Jill. No? Uh, it's not ringing any bells for you. Uh, well remember this is this is pre uh this is pre Wesker imprisonment. I guess. Uh in fact I have to imagine, you know, the the, the role that Jill played in uh, RE five. I have to imagine some crazy stuff will probably happen later on in this game. Re Revelations will be revealed. Uh, yes. Uh, but yeah, there's there's this uh, there's this terrorist group Veltro. There was this aquatic city that sank. Yeah. I I don't know, dude. I don't know. They're kind of uh, they're kind of going all over the place. I haven't played anything beyond where I'm at now, so uh, we'll we'll discover this together. Itchy. Tasty. Um, oh, they, they they totally have had their itchy tasty moment. Already. already. Yep. Oh wow. Uh, not that there's not room for more. <laughs> right. I'll take as much itchy tasty as I can get. <laughs> sure will. Uh, I know you heard that about me. I didn't read any of that. <laughs> 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 sure that won't come in handy <laughs> for this next puzzle coming up. Oh, man. Safety precautions. Make sure to turn the left valve three times and then push the right white diamond lion statue four <laughs> times. So check this out. Yep. 
Uh, if it does it, it was doing it on the last chapter. Are you in the underwater city? I'm on a ship. Oh. I'm just on a cruise liner. Wh oh, wow. There it They're goes. Like loading airlock there it goes. doors. Look at that. Oh, painful. Oh, geez. This oh. is just a loading screen. Yes, it's totally might loading. As well just, might as well be taking an Whoa. elevator up to this Rain. level. Take it. You might need it. Like what is it? Said, turning on the power won't be easy. You're the master of turning things on. Well, she's not gonna have to do any unlocking. Casino, that sounds fun. Then you'll find a lift to take you to the build. Who is this guy? But tell me something first. You didn't see any other FBC members here, did you? I can't reach my partner, Rachel. Damn it. I haven't heard from her since she went to the <laughs> well, see you later. Maybe you should check the build. Should we look for this Rachel woman? We can. But after we bring back the ship's power. <laughs> his mouth's not moving. No, he talks oh, with his mind. That's, just, that's disappointing. Man, look at that Jill booty. I know. Now is, you recognize her. Yeah, man, that thing is shining. <laughs> that's like a beacon. The characters look nice in this game. Yeah, they don't. I'm not, like, I'm not well, gonna lie. Like they're come back here. Yeah, regardless of the booty it, texture. Oh, he doesn't want to get shot. Let me just point my gun at you for no, a second. I don't want to get still. shot. No, point that thing somewhere else. Dick. All right, uh, since we just came off the circle pad, I guess I'll, I'll kind of show you how this game works without it. I can't. I'm, I'm sorry, Brad. I'm, I'm just mesmerized <laughs> by, by the... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's been Resident Evil Revelations. <laughs> it's like not even connected to her body. It's if like, you'd, uh, yeah. If you'd like to hang around for our encore, <laughs> yeah. 30 it's minutes of Jill Valentine booty action. in a bag. I'm just going to run around in a circle here. <laughs> that, it's not like it's an attractive, it's just weird. Yeah? It's, yeah, it looks like a... You should, you should see it with the 3D turn. It's on. like a, a half horse, half woman. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a shapely derriere, right? I don't know. Uh, all right, yes. so, so I'm on a single analog here, and it basically plays like RE4. Uh, or at least my memory of RE4. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're... you're you can only either move back and forth or rotate at once. Okay. Um, or if I hold down the left uh, aim, if I hold down the left the left shoulder button, you can strafe. Oh. But not rotate. So gotcha. You're, you're either rotating or strafing basically, uh, and you can go to your aiming mode, and it's the same deal. I can either rotate here. If I hold it down, I can strafe, but not both at the same time. And that's completely different with the uh, Circle Pad Pro. With the Circle Pad, you can do both. Okay. Uh, that's the key difference, uh, and it certainly does play better with that. I just I don't know that it's worth. The extra 20 bucks and bolting that thing onto your 3DS. Right. Uh, so let's go exploring. Ooh. Uh, I picked up some new parts. Uh, so they've got uh, they got a pretty neat item customization system in this game. You do have to go to these crates to change your loadout out. Mm -hmm. I've only got three weapons, so they're all equipped. Is that me. is that basically your? Uh, that can't just be your inventory, right? Those three slots. Uh, yeah, well, I'll show you. There's other inventory. They kind of split it up in, in different ways. Okay. This is your weapon stuff, but. Uh, I, li I really like this uh, this weapon mod system. is cool. Like here's my, my basic pistol. I've got uh, I've got a twenty percent uh, damage increase on it, mm -hmm. and also I've got it so that it's firing uh, like a burst of, of two shots at once. Gotcha. Although you got to be careful with that because ammo is scarce. scarce. It is Resident Evil got, still. Yes, got a little damage mod. Uh, on the my shotgun. What else do I got here? Uh, there was an upgrade system in uh, the last Resident Evil. Yeah, I mean it's not totally new for the series, but we can come back here. I put that mod on. But now, yeah. but now you're just not just like upgrading like power and reload and rate yeah, of fire. It's, now it's is actual mods, practically like RPG style, right. percentage bonuses and stuff. It's an All right, ominous, uh, so ominous music in this. Yeah, it's boat. This is a boat. Yeah, it's, okay. it's it's like a luxury liner. You say so. Yeah, you'll see. All right. I'm gonna go, All right. Where, I'm yeah. gonna go where there are stairs. Move them ham hocks. <laughs> <laughs> Get moving. It's just like it's always lit. It's just like, <laughs> there's like there's speculative like an, highlights. There's like an invisible light source yeah, falling around that everywhere. Yeah, fong shading they on her they booty. They don't Fong, 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 fong. fong, fong. <laughs> that fong, 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 fong. <laughs> what we got going on here? So how, how have you liked it so far? Because you, you were a fan of Last Resident Evil. Yeah, I typically enjoy the Resident Evil games pretty well. Yeah. Um, yeah and, and this looks fun. This looks great, actually. Yeah. Uh, my biggest issues are just the way it plays when you're in combat, okay. uh, and I've played almost all of it without the circle pad because A, we just got our hands on that thing, and B, I'm not sure that I'm sold. a huge fan of it yet. Yeah. Uh, didn't I just come back up here? Uh, Where I'm am sure. I going yeah, right you're kinda, You're talking and walking. That yellow dot on the map. Is that that's not your buddy? Usually that's an objective, but I wonder if that's like up. Hmm. Don't, uh, he gave you the key to the uh, build room. Yeah, is there, is there a staircase up? Um, or is the elevator working now? The elevator was broken before. 
There's also the stairs on the uh, outer Ooh. perimeter. Ooh. Oh, wait, now, yeah, walk around those stairs. Behind those stairs looks like that dock got a lot brighter. No, the, I would say, oh, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, okay, so it was down. Man, the, I don't, this is a weird thing, but the frame rate on your the map? map is yeah. bugging me. Yeah, don't, don't think I haven't also <laughs> noticed that. It is totally weird. In fact, there's lag. Look at uh, yeah. Look at the lag yeah, and, and like the direction of your little cursor uh, changes like slower than. I don't, I don't than know it. why that kind of bugs me. I know it's weird, right? Are you gonna get another airlock? Yep. Elevator animation. Seems that way. You can also uh, there's a bunch of options actually for. Oh God. I don't think when you're loading a level is the time to pull up the menu. <laughs> it seems like a, this game is having enough trouble keeping up. Uh, this is a, uh, a four gig cart, I understand. Mm. Most, uh, if I've got this right, most 3DS games are two gig. I, I have to, this, this is definitely one of the best looking things I've seen on the system. It's just a nice looking fidelity game. Fidelity wise. For, 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 you know, by the standards of the system, it's, uh, it's pretty good looking. Yeah. Let me hop in here real quick. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see, that's where you set up your... Set up aiming speed and stuff like that. Here's the main thing you can, because uh, most most uh, of the time go, these games are third person. Yeah, and go over the shoulder. But I think it was actually kind of nice that they, yeah, they thought ahead enough. They were like, all right, this is a pretty small screen. You know, if we yeah. want, if you want to like kind of remove that extra obstacle of having your head in the way, uh, you can do that. Um, how is the 3D? Uh, it's fine for the most part. Wait, that was totally under control, wasn't it? Um. For the most part, it's fine. There's, yeah. a, there's a few places where uh, some of the texture work it does not work so well in 3D. Because uh, it, it drops the resolution of the system when you turn 3D on, mm. uh, is my understanding. And some of the textures, you get, uh, what's the term, is like a moiré effect? Oh, uh, there's like that? dots and like dancing. Yeah, you get like a lot, lots of weird uh, swimmy, mm. uh, shimmering stuff going on. Uh, have, you, have you run Best into uh, yeah, um, parasites yet? Parasites? I don't know. Enemies? En enemies, I don't definitely, know what to call them. Definitely have killed some enemies. Uh, are they shamblers? There haven't been that many enemy types yet, actually. It's oh. been kind of rote in that way. Uh, eat coins with the casino girl. You can bypass any security. You have to, you have to hit the 107 way. grams. That's Small the power price. of reading the in-game text. I feel empowered now. Um, you know what? Uh, not to drone on about mechanics endlessly, mm -hmm. but uh, something is about to happen that is pretty neat, so I'll clue you in now. Uh, there's like a little in-game achievement system, okay. which is which is pretty cool. Uh, it's just little, you know, like they have these hidden handprints that you're looking for. It's basically just a collectible. Uh, there's some for, you know, clearing the whole game. They all have rewards. You can see some of them are like weapon mods. Some of them are actual new weapons. Are these are these medals for the entire game or is this? Yeah, and they're kind of they're kind of popping in as I get to places where I can do them. Okay. Uh, so like I got uh, I got one green herb for finding the first handprint. Uh, I got through episodes one through three, and then it opened up some of those kind of raid uh, stages, like the challenge levels. Oh, so you are, they're actually unlockable things? Yeah, so this okay. is the one I, I just happened to notice before we did this. I'm, I'm two enemies away from clearing this one. Oh, cool. So I'll get this uh, I'll get this new handgun. And you'll for, get a reward. Killing. That's yeah, great. So, so I figured, you know, I'll just let you know ahead yeah, of time. if that thing dings. When I kill, oh, hello. Uh, the ne uh, next time I kill two enemies, you'll, uh, you'll see that stuff. Please use coins. 107G. Where do I get coins? You need one of. You don't have money. Can't go through there. No. Not to my knowledge. Got to put your G on there, man. Oh, I have no G. G. Gonna go. Uh... So you, there's no there's no money system in this. No like oh, there, vendors. There's and... an, there's another exit over here. Or is it? No, that's just a teller's window. Oh. Aha! No. No. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, maybe you gotta play these slots. Here's what I can do. Uh, so this is actually kind of a major component of the game. They give you this scanner. Oh. Uh, which, uh... Percentage of what? Uh, that's like bio-research. You can scan enemies that you've killed. That's mm -hmm. a door. Oh, it won't open! Oh, um, foiled Is it only turn. work for, for bio-research? No, it also, uh, you also scan the environment. Uh, okay. a lot of items are hidden, even just like ammo and herbs and stuff. Can you get, grab some of that koi? Oh! That's, that's that, about 107G. That looks promising. What do you think? Are you, you going to shoot it out? out? Nope. I, I think you're going to have to turn the power on and the water's going to push it out. Just the power. turn the fountain on. The power is. 
power is behind the eagle and the manticore gate. So I gotta put the ruby in the eagle's mouth. Yes. And then rotate the manticore 90 degrees. Did you get the manticore shield? Oh no. All right, turn it off. That was back in chapter three. <laughs> mm. Well, this is exciting. Where is the power? Is this, uh, this is back through that load, right? Yeah, I don't think you want oh, dude. Have you found stuff to be kind of self-contained, or is there a lot of kind of going through it, doors? It is very compartmentalized, specifically because of that episodic, uh, episodic format. Okay. It's, uh, for one thing, it jumps back and forth between Jill and Chris. Okay. So they're in different places most of the time. Uh, and also, each each episode is contained in a pretty small map. So, you, uh, how about that switch right oh, there? That looks like That power. might do it. Brrr, hit that hot dog. Exciting. Wow. All right. Back in business. A cutscene up. Flink. You know, get, get a lot of mileage out of those Dead Rising 2 assets. Oh No. Aww. It's a luxury ship. They have things like a sea. Oh, thanks. Good to know. Yeah. Appreciate it. Great. Buddy. Oh, go hit that power button on that fountain now. Yep. Whatever that is supposed to do. Sure. Whoa. Holy oh, no! Oh. Oh, boy. Monster, monster fish! What? Holy Has shit this balls. happened before? Holy shit balls. Ah! Is that the guy in the gas mask is part of Velcro or Vel <laughs> Velcro? <laughs> Vel uh, yes. Oh, look they at all the water that comes out of him. That's weird. Come here, you. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, these guys don't do water damage, at least. There it is. Yay! So yeah, like I said, without the circle pad, it's a lot of uh, kind of old school RE4 style, like yeah. run back into a corner and then you are just kind of rotating <laughs> on an axis yeah. or you can strafe, but then you can't aim at the same time. Right. So playing without the circle pad, not optimal. But playing right. with the circle pad and You're then you've spent $70 on this game. And also major, game. major 3DS. Uh, as, as I understand it. One coin? You, need, you don't uh, need to get 170 of these, do you? I'm going to say no. Uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be kind of curious to see what the uh, what the kind of general reaction is to that circle pad. Yeah, like if other things will support it. Uh, what? Oh, you only got one coin though, right? So is that like a hundred and one's like a ten? Dude, I am using the touch screen. What's going on? Oh, that was a bronze. I thought that was a gold. It's oh, worth dude. Seven. I think I have to get more coins. Go get more coins. Go play oh. some slots, man. All right. You do. Wait. Yeah. What? He's gonna give you a coin? No. Oh. He was talking to the girl. Oh. Let's what see. else is lit up? Right. There's a position machine. Yeah. Use your money to make money. Got to bet big to win big. I can get more coins with this. <laughs> I I Just bust this thing oh, open. Oh man, who turned out the lights? Oh, big money! What does that get you? Do? Oh my God! You have to do it. You, do you literally have to do it. Oh, dude, I don't know. I hope not. That's the same. Oh. Is it, try it again. Are you hitting it to stop it or it's doing it? There okay. it goes. That must have been scripted. I think. You got a bundle of coins, boy. That's a lot of coins. Go upstairs and go put your coin in that lady. Oh. Careful now. Just make her, she's gonna open that door. <laughs> yeah, you're not. A blood fountain. Came out of there. So what, what, what is going on? Uh, there's this infected. That's all I need to know. Zombie yeah, virus. Yeah, there's a lot more going on than that, but I won't, uh, won't give too much away. But yeah, you, you go to investigate the ship, and things are bad on the ship. 107. Make it happen. Oh, too much. Oh, oh boy. Too much. What are the denominations here? What is a... Uh... Oh. You're not gonna brute force this one so easily. Oh. What is that, 17? Who makes a 17G coin? There we go. I mean, are they talking about grams? Is it a weight thing or is it I have gold? No idea. Okay. Is it gill? Don't question it. Okay. We got through it. Alright. That's all that matters. Yashikis. Um. Zenny? Yeah, is that Zenny. That's the Capcom unit of currency. <laughs> That's right. 107 Zenny. G stands for Zenny. You got some ammo, man. Yeah, there's some, a decent something must amount be coming of ammo, up. but there's also a decent amount of monsters. <laughs> so, uh, so oh. did, I, did I get that new handgun? Oh, yeah. Because that would be great. Picked up Long Magazine 1. Uh, I don't see any new handgun. 
Is this where it would show up? I guess. I don't know, that's the first weapon reward that I've gotten, so I don't know. Uh, but I did, uh, did get that long magazine, that seems... Well, yeah. Better capacity. My handgun is baller. You like your gun? Uh, well, you know, as handguns go. Uh, is there a quick switch on the weapons? You have to go in your inventory. Yeah, it's on the D-pad. Uh, all the quitch, quick witch, quick witch. Quick witch. Yes. I love a quick witch. All the all the quickster functionality is. <laughs> so yeah, you hit you hit up, cycle between your scanner and your weapon. Okay. I like hit, that shoulder shrug, man. Hit right, and you cycle through. Hey, look what you can't see right now. What? I think you know. And then you switch uh, you switch your like grenade and knife with uh, right. Oh. Yeah, shiny. Apple. <laughs> What's that? Light. You hold the lantern while I walk. Shine it on things and I'll shoot them. Oh, yeah, they messed up this camera angle. Do you have control <laughs> over it? No, I don't. Uh, that is, you're right. That missed opportunity right that there. That's a shame. I want to strafe around corners, but it's so awkward. <laughs> Are you wearing a, are you wearing a oxygen tank? Oh, or no? I think so. No. Still works. I bet I'm gonna have to fight something soon. Uh, is there any co-op or anything? Like, is it always, are you with this guy all Not, the time? Uh, he's always been around so far, and Chris uh, has a new partner who's always been there as well. And does it um, kind of work like, uh, but, like Resident Evil 5? Uh, they definitely help you out, although their weapons do a, a miserable amount of damage. Can you trade items uh, and heal and do all that stuff? I think so. Not that I've seen. Uh, but there, there's no there's no co-op in the story. Okay. It's uh, it's all single player. Uh, there is co-op in those in those raid missions, however. And it's just the uh, just uh, two copies of the game. Uh, I actually haven't tried it yet. We should see if there's download play. We can we can check those out briefly yeah. after this. Oh, did you leave him behind? You're gonna do your own oh, thing. I wasn't was quite paying attention to what's happening. You're looking for the key. Oh, locking some mechanism. kind of locking mechanism. Oh man, is this one of those touchscreen puzzles? Yep. Are and you by, gonna hack? And by puzzle, I mean tap the four screws. Is that what you're doing? Yep. Although that, there's actually, there should be a... Something behind this? A real puzzle in here. <laughs> All right. All righty. All right, what do you need to do here? Basically just networking these nodes together. Right. There we go. You got it. Success. You're a hacker. Oh, right into a load screen. This doesn't look ominous at all. Oh. Oh man. God, that hurts. Don't do, just let it uh -huh. let it do its thing. Man. Just, oh, you're killing I it. I can't help it. I have to. Oh. <laughs> I have to. Uh oh. Oh. Oh man. I want to see you shoot uh, something with two legs. Shoot what? Oh, this looks fun. I think I might have an idea where she is. That corpse you ran into earlier? Yeah. Uh -oh. I just pray it wasn't her. Was there a zombie? I use the word zombie to describe any enemy in this Anything? Game. Yeah, so. Do, do, do. So your percentage will go higher if you were near or something? No, is the it? percentage is for scanning enemies that you've killed. You're basically doing like viral, viral research is how they justify mm. it. Um, but uh, out of order. You're pretty much just getting like health items and stuff for doing that. Uh, but you also it's like Metroid style, like you're just like scan everything. No, not that. Definitely not that. That uh, throw. There's there's not that much to scan. The lighting is, is pretty good. It's, it's pretty good, yeah. Like, it's a nice looking game. And other than some of the texture work. Oh, God. Uh oh. Hello. Oh, man. I think that guy shoots stuff. Guess what? I got a shotgun now. Oh, gosh. I mean, what's wrong with that guy? What is what is going on in the boat? That guy looks like he's from Silent Hill. It's, it's some pretty nasty he's stuff. He's turned yeah. into a puddle. See, so you. Oh, are you like 67% scanning in the game? No, no, no. It's like uh, they just kind of reset it arbitrarily. <laughs> oh, okay. Even though I'm scanning the same enemies over and over. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. Oops. I, Jeez, I, like a I healer. Totally did not mean to do that. Here, I hear something. Yeah, there's something bad going on. You check lockers? 
Uh, yeah, totally can. Um, you know, it, it can get a little tedious just moving around, scanning everything, but, uh, it, oh, there's, there's something. Mm hmm that's a good scanner. That must be behind the door. Yeah, I think, I think when there's an exclamation mark, it means it's behind something. Uh, but if, yeah, I mean, if you want to find uh, all the ammo, herb, and all the, like, the collectible handprints and stuff, you're going to need to scan. You've got to pop that scanner. And that's a, just a quick select? On a regular basis. It's very, yeah, it's very fast. You just hit, hit up to that's go to cool. it. Uh, in fact, you can switch right out of it. Oh, nice. All right, here goes nothing. Goes everything. So that's the item I found. That, so that wouldn't even show up unless I had scanned there. Oh, it wouldn't uh, be blinking like super crazy? Uh, yeah, and when it's, you know, it's like a full round of shotgun shells or something, you yeah. definitely want to... You want to be vigilant for that stuff, because it helps. What's the range on the scanner? Decent? Well, it's oh, pretty nice. good. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hello, sir. Oh, man. Hit it with the bullets. That's right. I don't like these things. Ah! What am I doing? Trying to change my pistol and I didn't do it right. Puddle of goo. There we go. That's that thing is out of order. I do think the lighting is really good. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's moody. It's, uh, it looks all right. Uh, although it, it's it's a little weird playing a game that's supposed to be suspenseful and atmospheric and scary mm -hmm. on like a two and a half inch yeah, screen. A little, a little you know? screen. It's not so uh, immersive. Like the game is made relatively well, all things considered. It's more like I question the motives of making it at all. <laughs> well, right, I just, yeah. I, I, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a really big fan of like, you know, some of the stuff Nintendo has been doing on the system that really plays to the system's strengths, you know? Sure, sure. In general, they're really good at doing that with their platforms. Well, the nice thing is I'm, watch I'm sitting here watching it on giant TV. Right. So. How's it look on the on It the looks screen? great. Not, not that, you know, anybody will ever play it that way. No, no, it looks, fan it looks fantastic. But, uh... Ah! Ah, uh, full oh, up. You are full up. Uh... And you know, it seems seems Resident Evil-ish. I, I don't yeah. know much about it, yeah. but uh... Uh, I'm I'm warming it up to it some. I didn't really have the greatest first impression, but uh, as the story rolls along, even though it seems totally unrelated to anything that happened in any of the other games, I'm sure they'll so tie far, it together. I'm sure they something. will, but it, a lot of it feels a little contrived. Uh, and you know, I've got some misgivings about the action design, but uh, but it is uh, it is a like full on, fully featured Resident Evil game. It, they yeah. have definitely delivered that. And is the the 3D is yeah. 3D is pretty decent. Yeah. You know, like the, the it's not like you get frame rate issues when it's on or anything like that. Only when it's low. Yeah, except for that stuff. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh man. That was intense. Uh, there's a dodge mechanic which is really not super intuitive. Let's see if I can pull it off here. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh. Basically, you have to hit you have to hit forward or backwards and B at the right time to dodge, but there's no Q whatsoever. They give you like one button prompt the first time you can do it. Okay. And you never really get a chance to, to practice the timing on it again. Do they? Is there a, a punch, like the knife? Yeah, if you stagger him, I didn't do it there. It's kind of like RE4. Yeah, I was running up to him to see if I could see if I could hit him there. Kick people's heads off. Are you dead? Okay. He's dead. Some bad stuff happening here. Yeah, not good times on this, uh, <laughs> this gigantic boat. Not not the most pleasurable of ships. And this skyscraper boat. Look at that shadow. Oh, that's why okay. Is you know what? what? You know what? Don't look at that shadow. You know, I never quite understood why that stuff becomes so dithered and, and pixely. I've actually been here before. <laughs> this is a, this is actually a very early area from the game. It's like Lara Croft is following you. <laughs> uh. So Brad, is there, is there much more to show, or is, is I that, think is that kinda, pretty much kind of? You think you'll get to us? Are, are cutscenes all in engine, or are they go? Uh, there are some pre-rendered cutscenes. I wonder if I could maybe select one from the menu. I, I can't even remember if uh, we saw that when we started. <laughs> uh, all right, I guess it is capable of uh, <laughs> capable scares. of eliciting a response. Oh. Headshots work? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let me jump into that other mode real quick. 
Uh, and you can actually see that. In oh, action. 95! Yeah, one more. Eh. It'll just be like a green herb or something. It's nothing. And then it'll just tick back over again? Yeah, it's nothing to get super excited about. Yeah, very that's excited up. about green herbs. All right, that's the story mode. Yeah, let's see, let's uh, see if, that, if they're downloading play options or what the other things are. Right, that. It's pretty much it's pretty much the story mode, and then after you finish the first uh, set of episodes, you get this raid mode here. The missions okay. are just those these achievement things. Uh, yeah, it says for campaign use, but it didn't show up in my locker. Mm. Oh, I wonder if I had to. Oh, oh bummer. Had to select it maybe before it worked. Anyway, so pop into the raid mode here. Uh, it's basically just a challenge kind of thing. So what do you think the 3DS local play? You think you need That's uh, just like ad hoc. Do you, you think you need uh, two connections? I don't know, I guess I could... Uh, hmm. da -da -da -da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know that we can even get that far in this capture unit, so... Um, well, it's got, it's got wireless. It does have Wi-Fi if I you want to play on the internet. Stay tuned for the full review. You gonna go solo? There's that, there's that handgun. So I've got nothing but handguns on my, uh, oh, I'm not high enough level. You actually, you actually level up in this mode. Huh. Uh, there's actually a lot to this. I don't know how much... Oh, wait, I can't get to the character stuff from there, can I? Yeah, shopping cart, what happens if you push that? That's where I was trying to go. Oh, wait. Right, yeah, I can also get to the store here. Is that uh, money? Yeah, that's BP, which I guess are battle okay. points. From like street passing and all that stuff? Uh, it's actually, you get them from playing the campaign. Hmm. Uh, and then I'm guessing also from, from playing this, I think you earn them too. Do you know I've if this has any of that weird like, them here. like outside the game, not street pass, the other thing that's spot like pass. spot passing uh, and stuff? It does, yeah, I enabled it when we started here. I'm not sure what it does though. We've only got one copy of the game, so I haven't been able to spot pass. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure how that stuff works yet, but we'll find out. So you've tried a couple of these? Yeah, I've tried a few of these. They unlock over the course of the story. Uh, Probably this new one, I guess. I haven't played that one yet. Sure, it'll go well. He has him. Uh, I think the characters level up separately here. I've got Jill. Uh, I don't know if I can actually even... Yeah, I guess I could play... Parker? Looks like Chris or Parker also are available. Parker, um, what a pity. It says that Jill's still level one. Wait. No? Oh. I guess Jill's... No, no, Jill's level two, I'm sorry. You ever play Call of Cthulhu? Oh, actually, it looks like the level is common. Between all your characters? Yeah, so maybe I'll try Chris here. I don't know what the difference really is. Cold weather Chris. <laughs> yeah, nice hat. That is toboggan? Yes. That is, in fact, a toboggan, and I don't want to hear different. <laughs> uh, so you can pop into the store. I've earned a bunch of BP from playing the campaign. Uh -huh. And I, like I said, I think you get more here. I don't know what these other gold coins are, but I don't have any of those yet. Uh, let's buy this machine gun. Okay. That could come in handy. You can also buy parts if you want, and mm -hmm. ammo and herbs and all kinds of other stuff. But let's just jump in. And now, has this become like? Is this more like mercenaries? Or is yeah, this like a well, kinda. It's more linear than that. Uh, let's just jump in. I think we're good. Um, it's it's more linear. It's your. I think the environments, uh, at least so far, have all been taken from the story mode. Hmm. Uh, it's basically just go from point A to B and kill everything. Is it like a time attack? Yeah, it's uh, it rates your time. You're not on a time limit, but it, it, it rates... Scores uh, you based on how quickly... Yeah, rates how fast you go. You also... Uh, I, th I think you get extra points okay, for, for headshots and stuff. They definitely do more damage. What do I got here? Oh my god, did I not equip that machine gun? I didn't realize I had to do that. That sucks. <laughs> uh, but I've got... Got regular pistol and magnum, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, so is Chris in a completely different environment when you play his parts of the mission? Yeah, I haven't actually played much of him so far. It's been uh, oh, mostly oh, Lady Lou, she. Jill. Oh, what's, this, what's, what's a fist? That means he's an extra strong one. So I got a headshot there. That was a lot of extra damage, but magnum this guy. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. That shot's not super easy to get in this game. There we go. No. Uh, I'm sure Chris will come up more at yeah. some point. But well, just the cold weather here it doesn't seem that yeah, cold he, he, on he the was, ship. Yeah, he was definitely in a, a, like a snowy area. He's shiny too. Yeah? Yeah, like his forearms Pretty are decent glistening. Char character lighting in this game in general. Oh, Jesus oh man, God. what is... Ow! That's man, that came out of nowhere. I mean, that, you know, that... 
kind of illustrates uh, how. Oh Jesus! Again, uh, sort, of, sort of illustrates like how. Oh, dude, do I not have any herbs? How do I not have any herbs? Yes, uh, illust illustrates. It, it kind of illustrates how your situational awareness can suffer because of the. I don't know. It just sort of feels like a combination of the small screen and the controls. You know, you can only see so much at a time, and if you're aiming at a guy here and there's a guy coming from the right, you don't even know about it. Mm. You know, well, kinda... Resident Evil definitely want to put guys around yeah. sharp corners, but uh, making it difficult to scan quickly is uh, yeah. not the greatest. Uh, but, you know, the Circle Pad Pro, again. It's there if you want to use if it. If you want to use it. All right. I got, got that key. old key. Yeah, so you basically you kill some guys and you get a key and you can move on to the next area. Chains fall down. Hopefully find some herbs. Maybe. Anybody? Nope. Chains do fall down. Chains will fall. He's got all that stuff on his belt. Yeah, I think there'd be an herb in there. Can you shoot the fire extinguishers? Back fiend. Oh, he's a punch that guy. Yeah, I should have. How, how long do these usually take? We were just here. Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're very short, like five, ten minutes. An herb. I just see an herb. I think I'm seeing things. You're in the bathroom. I'm delusional. Oh, oh God. not again. Ah. Did I catch it? Nope. Barely escaped. Oh, Jesus. I'm dead. Man. I am dead. You can get, they have gruesome, uh... Oh, actually, wow. That was a luck. Oh, this is a fast one. Ah! Can I punch him? Nope. Uh, shouldn't have let off the aim. I thought he was staggered. All right. Game over. Uh, how do you save? Uh, well, here these are these are so short. Yeah, but like in the normal um, ones, it's just the uh, the main game is just checkpointed. Okay. No ink ribbons, no typewriters, none of no that. No push nonsense. start to save. You just yep. go until you. It just, it'll it'll say saving every so often. Uh, cool. Um, so there's the, that's uh, that's co-op online or local. It looks yes, like. Yes. Not sure about single cart play, but uh, right. You can do two. Um, uh, and I guess that's uh, that's Resident Evil Revelations. You know, this, uh, yeah. Campaign. It looks looks pretty good. It's okay. Seems, it seems to handle Resident Evil-ish. It's okay. I'm not. You know. We'll see how it. You're not blown out. away yet. Yeah. It's it's serviceable. And then the. Uh, do you know when this is coming to the states? Yeah. This is out on the seventh of February. Okay, and then uh, do you know the Circle Pad Pro is coming same day, day and date with yep, this? Yep, both okay. out on the seventh. And uh, you, do you know if this is the only thing that supports it so far? Uh, in North America, yeah, Monster Hunter in Japan uses it. Okay. Uh, but for now, it's this. Uh, Kid Icarus will use it. Right. And uh, Metal Gear Solid Three. <laughs> really confirmed? Naked Snake Edition or whatever they call them that. Yeah. Naked Edition. Uh, yeah, that'll that'll use it too. They just announced that. Um, so there are some games that will use it, but. I don't know, man. Buyer beware about the size. It is bulky. Yeah, if you can if you can try it out before you before you buy it, you might want to check it out. Mm. Uh, it just you know, this is a, this is an eminently portable system, and it and it loses that advantage uh, once you slap that thing on there. Yeah, it's basically like carrying around two DSs. I know, yeah, two DSs taped together, right? Yeah, oh, okay, four fine. DS. Thanks, Finny. All right, thanks, Brad.